If you're single and you're at a low place, stay single and go through the process. Do not jump in a relationship because you feel lonely. When you're at that low place, that is when you have to focus on yourself to build yourself up, to build your self-confidence, to build your self-esteem. Because if not, what will end up happening is that you're going to date at your current level of self-esteem and confidence. And what usually happens is... She's just saying everything so far that I speak about on this channel, man. A lot of times, man, we, we hop into situations because, man, we feel lonely, man. We feel like, man, we need somebody around. We don't feel good about ourselves. And like she said, you're going to attract what level that you're at. I will attract this toxic people because they didn't feel good about themselves either, even though I felt like I wanted them because they look good or she had something fat back there. Seek after God while you're single. That is the time where you get to learn more about yourself and go through the process of healing from past trauma if you have any or they um getting to know yourself dating yourself see if you really like you because if you don't like you how do you expect someone else to like you have you ever went on a date by yourself have you ever I, I know that sounds super cliche like if you don't like yourself how somebody else gonna like you but I mean, that's the truth of the matter, man. Like how many times, like I guarantee you, most people don't really like themselves. Most people really don't enjoy their own company. And like I speak on this channel so much, your energy is very important. So whatever energy you're putting out, you're gonna get that back. So if you don't like yourself, other people are not going to like you as well. And like she said, during this time, spend that time dating yourself. I preach that on this channel, man. I, I go out on solo dates by myself a lot. You know, I go I go hiking by myself. I'll go to the gym by myself just to spend that time with myself and my thoughts to process my life. You know what I'm saying? To make sure I'm good. You got to make sure that you good first. Have you ever spent more than five at one hour by yourself that didn't involve working or sleeping or anything? Just doing something that you like to do. Do you even know what you like to do? And if you don't, what would make you so interesting to want to be with? Would you want to be with you? These are all the important questions that you should ask yourself during your singleness. See, being single is like that's that's a fact. Like, would you even want to be with you? Like, you. The thing is, a lot of times, man, we want certain people, we want certain things, but we're not that ourselves, man. It's about feminine and masculinity. You know what I'm saying? Two masculine can't be together, and two feminine can't be together. So, if you're acting like a chick, you're gonna attract masculine women. But if you're acting masculine, you're conducting yourself, you're confident, you're sure of yourself, you're a leader. You're gonna attract the feminine woman who wants to invest into you, and that's nurturing, that's caring, that's thoughtful, and all those things like that so you know it's very important to spend that time in building yourself up instead of worrying about like dang man why this person don't want me or why am i by myself and why am i single and all these type of things man don't even worry about that single is not a bad thing because you get to uncover everything and knowing that you're going to go through the process so you'll be able to pick out the right partner for you because you'll be fully developed you would have built up your confidence, built up your self-esteem. So you'll be able to see clearly and know what you want. Because if you don't know what you want, you'll be tricked up by anything. It's better to stay single than to date while you're in your low place. Yeah, so like a lot of times, man, we're in situ we are um, by ourselves and single and we feel like we're at a low point. And a lot of times, man, we go looking for somebody else to help fill that void. But like she said, and I speak, I speak this on my channel all the time. You got to use that energy that you feel to, to heal them traumas, go to therapy, to build yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Start reading some more books and getting out there more dating yourself instead of feeling sorry for yourself. So many people, we feel so sorry for ourselves and we feel like, man, I'll never get the person I want. Yeah, because you know what I'm saying? Your mind ain't right and you're not the person that you want to attract yet. Focus on the love you are receiving versus the love you wish you were receiving. In the past, I used to struggle with this a lot because I would really want something to work out. Whether that was romantically, platonically, like career-wise, whatever it was, it was really hard for me to grasp the concept that maybe what I want doesn't want me. And when you start to realize that everything is working for you in your favor, you don't focus on the things that you wish were working in your favor. You just focus on the things that are. And then naturally life kind of starts beating to that drum. Whatever you focus your energy on is whatever will come back to you. It may not come back to you immediately, but eventually it will.
So if you just continue to focus there, life will kind of find its way full circle. Even if it's not with the person you expected, or maybe it's not the job that you wanted, but somehow it's gonna come back full circle. But I agree a thousand percent with everything she said. You know, um, a lot of times for me, I would always focus on the women that I couldn't get. Um, and when it came to dating, and a lot of times, like she said, you get that energy back. So when you focus on things you can't control, you're just gonna get more chaos back to you instead of focus on the things that you can control. And what we can control is making sure we invest as much as we can into ourselves and building yourself up to become that person that, that you know what I'm saying, that you wanna become. You gotta continue to focus on you. But a lot of times we focus on that person over there who don't want us, so we're chasing them, trying to get their attention, you know what I'm saying, trying to make it work. And when you're doing that, again, the universe is not working in your favor because you're going against what's natural. You know, it's crazy because in this world, like, we're always seeking other people's approval, whether it's through the Instagram or any other, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is, other people, friends, family members, we're always seeking other people's approval when the answer is inside of here. You know what I'm saying? We're looking for exterior things to make us feel good. We're looking for other people to make us feel good. And a lot of times what you understand is people can't live up to those unrealistic expectations. Those things won't give you internal happiness, but yourself will. But again, we don't want to spend that time with ourselves, man. We, we hop from relationship to relationship because we fear being alone. We don't want to spend that time alone. We want to spend that time working on our past traumas. We don't want to spend that time investing into ourselves because that's boring. But a lot of times the hardest things to do in life have the best rewards on the back end. But it's easy to go find somebody else to date and, repla and to replace to make you feel good. It's easy to do that, but it's hard to sit back and, and um, look in the mirror and figure out what you need to work on and, and handle all those past traumas. That's hard. That's hard work. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to be really honest with yourself and nobody wants to do that. But at the end, it has the best result. It's natural because when you do that, like she said in the video, the universe works in your favor when you're working in, in favor of yourself. Well, when you're working in favor of other people and putting other people first, the universe ain't gonna work in your, it's gonna work against you. It's funny how that works, right? When you, when you focused on other people and other things and exterior things, it's funny how nothing works out in your favor. But the second that you start to focus on yourself, everything works out for you. And that's how it goes. I appreciate you guys for coming over to the channel, man. I appreciate all the love, guys. Make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys. And I'm gone.